Welcome to Senior Centers in Action. I'm your host, Carla Schaefer. On this month's episode, we'll take in the wildlife in Arnold, hear a few tunes from the king of rock and roll, and celebrate our team spirit. But first, when the summer months roll around, that can only mean one thing. It's time to grill up some burgers and hot dogs and gather your friends together for a picnic. And what a better place to have a picnic than at the beach. The Pasadena Senior Activity Center kicked off August with their annual picnic at Kurtz Beach. Here at Kurtz Beach at the Pasadena Senior Activity Center's annual summer picnic. And with me today is Cheryl Heinhold. Welcome, Cheryl. Hi, Carla. So this is the 13th annual picnic? 13th annual picnic. It's a uh, summer gathering that we do each year for our seniors to get together, dance, um, music, eat, a yeah. little bit of everything. It seems like a good opportunity for all of them to just come together and celebrate summer. We've seen a lot of dancing today. They seem to be big fans of that. Yes, they are big line dancers. Um, our line dancing class has always been popular ever since we opened in 2000. And we have some great entertainment today from the Retro Rocket. Yes, the Retro Rockets is a band we've had at the Senior Center about six times now. They're mostly oldies music and they're excellent. And they, they bring a lot of members into the center on the days that we have them and a lot of wonderful food as well. Oh yeah, <laughs> hot dogs, chicken, all the good stuff. <laughs> now, do you have any other upcoming events you'd like to highlight? We do. Uh, in September, we have a mini health and information fair on September 24th, I believe it is, 9 to 11, 11.30. October, we have an Oktoberfest with traditional German music and music by the 1940s band. We also have our annual craft show coming up in November. That's November 14th and 15th, 9 to 2. And that's a fundraiser for our Senior Center through Pasadena Seniors, Inc. A lot of exciting events. Well, thank you so much for inviting us out here on this beautiful summer day to your picnic. Thank you. And we, we are very, very happy that you came. Thanks. Thanks. I'm here with Jane Huffman and Ruth Cheeler of the Pasadena Senior Activity Center. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I understand that you've been very active with the Senior Center for quite some time. Well, I started, I guess, about four years ago with the Center, and I started just volunteering at the front desk on Friday afternoons, and then I started doing the bulletin board. And then last year, I was kind of roped into joining with the board of directors and did fundraising for the Center. Hi, I've been there uh, I think around 10 years now. I came in uh, as a crafter and uh, wound up was recruited for the treasures, been the, doing the treasury job, and I run the tours from down the center. Yeah. And we're here today at the beautiful Kurtz Beach. Um, why do you like attending events like this and what are some of the other things you like to do at the Senior Center? Well, I think I like attending the, the different events because it's nice uh, fellowship and camaraderie with the folks. Um, you know, I'm, I think that I'm a little bit younger than a lot of the folks that are here. And, um, you know, I just enjoy talking with the older folks when they're in the center and just the fellowship, I believe. Yeah, I think it's mainly the fellowship because uh, you walk in and you see one person smile, it makes you happy. You know, it's a joyful place, a beautiful place. Se uh, Pasadena Senior Center can't be matched. <laughs> Are there any other things that you're looking forward to coming up at the Senior Center? Well, um, I just recently finished my, my tour on the Board of Directors as fundraising, so I'm not quite sure what they have planned. Um, you know, it, the, the monthly activities that they have at the center is just really, really nice. Um, you know, just the different events, the classes that the people take. And as Ruth said, you know, when you make somebody smile, it just, it really does make you happy. It makes you happy to make somebody else's day, just to speak with them. A lot of the folks that come in, or some of the folks that come in, you know, they're coming in um, from daycares, basically. And you know, they really may not have anybody to talk to. So just to even speak with them, you know, they, they appreciate that. They do. 
Yeah, they really do. Yeah. Um, and we have our craft show coming up, so that's going to be a big event for us. And it's a money maker. And, uh, of course, all of our money goes to the center for things that they need, you know. Um, it's just a nice place. It's a, it's a friendly place. And our staff is great, and uh, they work with us. So, yeah, it gives you a good feeling. Well, thank you both so much for dedicating your time and talents to help those at the Senior Center and for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you very much. Pasadena wasn't the only senior activity center to have a summer picnic. We took a trip down to South County to see what they had cooking on the grill for their members. Well, we're here at the South County Senior Center's Old Time All-American Picnic. And Sharon, this is an annual picnic? It is an annual picnic. Um, each year we do it a little bit differently. This year we've cooked everything. Some years we have a catered. This year we've cooked. Yeah, I mean, it, the food looks fabulous. Can you tell us what's on the menu today? It looks like traditional all-American picnic food. You've got the idea, Carl. Uh, Carl, I'm sorry. It's hot dogs, hamburgers, potato salad, baked beans. Uh, we have yet to serve our watermelon cookies and ice cream. And you have a fabulous turnout here today. Can you tell us about some of the other events? I understand there's a cakewalk and a magician coming up. Um, we had a cakewalk this morning. A lot of people kind of looked at me like, a what? <laughs> but uh, a cakewalk is something I remember as a child from um, church picnics, et cetera. We had lots of fun with it, gave away 18 cakes. Um, we had a sing-along. And at one o'clock, we're having a magician who's coming. It's the first, his first time here, but he comes highly recommended. Excellent. And can you tell us about some other events that are going to be coming up in the month of October here at the Senior Center? In October, the very first week of October, we're having a big uh, book sale. And that's a follow-up to our uh, big flea market, which will be held in September. And then October, we follow up and sell the remainder of the books that weren't sold at the yard sale in um, September. Perfect, Sharon. Well, thank you so much for having us out here today and kind of having our last picnic to really wrap up the summer. You're certainly welcome. Let me just say that um, unlike some of the other centers and some of the other events we do, this was totally free to the attendees. Our friends group, which is our incorporated group, paid for everything. So I think they're to be commended for doing that. Indeed. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here with Grace, Louise, Elena, and Nora, all our members of the South County Senior Center. And today we're here at the All American Picnic, having a little dessert, some watermelon, and some cake. I understand, Nora, that you won this cake at the cakewalk cake today. The cakewalk. It was fun. It looks wonderful. We're going to have a little bit. Um, oh, no problem. <laughs> Why do you ladies like to come to the Senior Center? It's a place. To it's home away from home. Otherwise, I'd be stuck at home. I don't drive anymore. I, I'm 91 years old. I quit driving when I was 84. So I don't go anywhere except get on the bus and come here two days a week. And the transportation department provides transportation for you? Mm -hmm. If it weren't for the county, I would not be able to be here. That's wonderful. And um, tell us what you like best about the Senior Center. The people. I enjoy being with people who have the same interests that I do, and uh, we do exercises in their various classes. I can't see, so I don't participate in most of the classes, but it's very nice atmosphere and keeps me alive. Well, there's a good variety of classes here, so it seems as though there's classes for everyone. Well, I am able to do the chair exercises, but that's about all you can do without being able to see what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you. And can you tell us a little bit about the fun you've had at the picnic today? Well, the picnic is, the picnic is fun, but I could really go back to 1984 when I joined Department of Aging. That's a long story, but it would take me forever to tell you all the good things that uh, they've helped me with and are continuing to do so. I started with the department, like I said, and uh, 
August of 1984 down at Wayson Satellite. But I know I don't have time to tell you about all the years prior or, prior or after that. And as far as 1991, I came with this building and uh, I just have someone, so many stories I could tell you, but I won't bore you with them. But anyway, it's been a great, great for me, and I'll always appreciate what they have done and are still doing for me and other seniors like myself. Thank you. Take care. 96. Oh, wow. I would have never known it. I know I was talking in circles, but anyway, if I was talking in circles, I'm sorry, but you have to make allowances for 96-year-old people. Well, thank you ladies so much for sharing your stories and a little bit with us today. I, I know you're lucky to have the Senior Center, but the Senior Center is very lucky to have you as well. So thank you for sharing your experiences and let's have some cake. <sighs> Good food and good friends, a great time was had by all. Back up the road at the Pasadena Senior Activity Center, it was time to celebrate everyone's favorite baseball team with Spirit Day. There were no peanuts or a Cracker Jack, but plenty of ballpark franks and members decked out in their orange and black. There were even some Ravens fans there as well. Tom Amon from the local band Pet Rock was on hand for entertainment, and he had the members dancing in the aisles. We were lucky enough to pull Ann Daniel and Gertrude Madgett off the dance floor to talk to us about why they love coming to the center. Well, we're here at the Pasadena Spirit Day with two wonderful friends. We have Ann and Gertrude, who are big time senior center attendants here at Pasadena. Can you tell me, for starters, a little bit about what's going on here today? Today is in celebration of the Orioles, you know, our baseball club, the Orioles, which is orange and black, orange and black. <laughs> So, orange and black. You two are dressed very appropriately. Yeah, we have yeah. some Ravens fans here too, I yeah, see. Per purple. We have some, and I used to say purple. When I was little, I couldn't say purple, I said purple. So the Ravens are purple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. And it's, it, this has been a good center, a very good center. The director is terrific, right? And this, as I keep telling you, this young lady is, uh, she does a lot and she's good. Now, why do you like coming to the center? Well, it's a place to go. And if the center wasn't here, I don't know what I would do. It helps me because I get up every morning and I come here and I do volunteer. And this is about the 11th year now that I've been coming here and volunteering. And I really am going to repeat myself. Everybody should just come here when they're over 60 and have no place to go. Don't let this place go down. Keep it going. Yeah, it is, it is terrific. It really is. I mean, everybody that comes here, they're always, they're so good when they get here. They're so happy while they're here, you know. And with myself, I come here early in the morning, 9, 930. I stay as late in the afternoon as I can. And when they're closed, I'm very sad. Because right, right. yeah, if they could sad. be open on Saturdays and Sundays, I would vote for it. <laughs> Anything else, what the county did, this is terrific. They are, yeah. I'm going to have to tell the county that and show them my appreciation <laughs> and tell them I love what they're doing for us, right? right? And I'm going to be 91 years old. You are not. Yes, I am. We would never know that. I'm 87. <laughs> You're kidding me. So oh, my see? goodness. So see? we've been here a while. It's kept you young, yes. both of you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, as I said, you know. For me, it's been a godsend. It's been a godsend. And I wouldn't miss a day. And when they're closed, I'm very unhappy. <laughs> I feel the same way. I'm very unhappy. But well, well, you two have been having a lot of fun today. We've been oh, watching yeah. you on the dance floor. Yes. <laughs> it is terrific, sure. It's, it's oh, nice. Yes, it keeps us young. It makes yes. us feel good. Yes. We're not dead. No. <laughs> no. We're not down and out yet. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, ladies, oh, so much for welcome. taking the time to talk to us, and we'll let you get back to the party. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, honey. Now you know why we call the show Senior Centers in Action. With all the dancing, raffles, and food, it's clear everyone enjoyed the event. Well, the summer season has wound down, but that doesn't mean activities are stopping at our senior activity centers. Take a look at our calendar of events for October.
While it wasn't all picnics in August, summer is usually the best time to visit the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore, but do you know the zoo can also come to you? The Zoomobile stopped by the Arnold Senior Activity Center to introduce its members and their grandchildren to some very special guests. I'm here with Charles Smith, who's an outreach instructor at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore, and he has brought some very special friends today to the Arnold Senior Activity Center. Charles, can you tell us about some of them? Well, we, today we brought four animals. We brought Marty, our prehensile tail porcupine, from the rainforest of Central and South America. Uh, we have a Chinese alligator, very much endangered. Um, he's about 13 years old and eventually go back to the Houston Zoo, I believe. Um, we have a chinchilla, yum yum, from the Andes Mountains in South America. And of course, they all come from breeders now or from pet stores. And then uh, Diamondback Terrapin, Diana, who is native to the Chesapeake Bay. And why were these animals chosen today? The name of the program is Endangered Species that we did today. The alligator is very much endangered. Porcupine, loss of habitat uh, is the main reason in the rainforest. Uh, chinchillas, they think, may be extinct in the wild. And the diamondback terrapins were endangered at one time and then sort of recovered as a result of prohibition. Now, Charles, at the beginning, you brought out some biofacts and things of endangered species. Now, why did you choose to bring those today, and how did you get them? Uh, the the biofacts we brought uh, are actually belong to the Department of Natural Resources on loan to the zoo for educational purposes. Uh, they were confiscated from people trying to bring them into the country. And again, the Department of Natural Resources loaned them out to zoos, aquarium, nature centers, places of that for educational purposes. Now, I know at one point you mentioned that these animals look a lot better in person than they do in that bag, and I think we'd all agree. Yeah, they do. I'm sure the, uh, I'm sure the uh, leopard wasn't real happy giving up his pelt. And do you do programs like this often? We do. The Zoomobiles go out um, every week of the year, um, mainly Monday through Friday. We do occasional Saturday and occasional Sunday, but normally Monday through Friday. Um, senior center schools, assistant living facilities, community events. And if people out there are looking to get more information about how they can find the Zoomobile or just the zoo in general, how can they do that? Uh, just contact the zoo. Uh, you can either call the zoo directly uh, or go to our website, MarylandZoo.org, uh, under outreach, and you'll, you'll find all the information you need there. Well, thank you so much, Charles. Sure. It was a lot of fun today and very educational. Always a lot of fun. <laughs> That was a fun event and gave everyone a rare opportunity to see some amazing animals up close and learn more about endangered species. Well, there was a whole lot of shaking going on at the Pasadena Senior Activity Center when the king or a reasonable facsimile came to perform for the center's members. Michael Hoover as Elvis Presley performed musical hits from the 50s, 60s, and 70s to the delight of the fans in the audience, even bestowing a scarf on a few lucky ladies. Hoover performed many songs by various artists, but the highlights were Elvis hits, Heartbreak Hotel, How Great Thou Art, and Suspicious Minds. And a little Elvis trivia. While he was the king of rock and roll, his only Grammy Award wins were for gospel performances, including his first win for How Great Thou Art in 1967. Michael Hoover wowed his audience at the event, but for now, Elvis has left the building. Well, that wraps up this month's edition of Senior Centers in Action. Be sure to join us again next month to see what else our senior centers are doing to keep their members in action. If you'd like more information about the activities at your local senior activity center or are interested in joining, visit our website at www.aacounty.org aging or call 410-222-4464 to find the center nearest to you. We'll end the show with the sights and sounds of the Arnold and Annapolis Senior Activity Center's Purple Picnic at Kurtz Beach. We'll see you next month.